Hi everyone, this is Ninath from Ninath's Pottery and uh, today I am going to talk about my 19th innovation, this Vedic stove. After many many years of research in oil lamps, my, being, my first innovation being this oil lamp uh, in which I have spoken separately and you all can refer to that video. Uh, I have come to this very beautiful innovation called the Vedic Chula stove. It's the ninth stove in the world and uh, today I will explain everything about this stove including how to use it. So uh, uh, I was working with oil lamps in all these years and I realized that uh, nobody ever has cooked with oil as a fuel. So oil as a fuel, why is it that nobody has used was the question that popped in my head. And uh, again I did a lot of research and I said why is it that in these 20,000 years of cooking civilization has not used the most easily available fuel on the planet which is so eco-friendly. You don't need to cut a tree, you don't need to dig this beautiful planet, you don't need to harm anybody. All that you have to do is press seeds, get the oil off it, use it, cook with it. It's as simple but why is it not happening? We are using diyas all our life. The Indian culture revolves around oil diyas. This oil is so, so nice, such a beautiful feeling but nobody has ever used it as a fuel and uh, then I said come Ninad we will make a stove. It was a challenge for me and uh, once I started working on project stove then I realized oh why is it that people have not cooked? Uh, there were many obvious reasons. So. Uh, one of the obvious reasons is, uh, see the viscosity here, it's highly viscous. This viscosity is one of the biggest impediments which people must have faced while cooking. And uh, the, uh, let me talk about the eight stoves, the chulas which are present currently on this planet, in this globe. There are eight stoves. The first one was the wood stove, uh, which everybody knows. Then came charcoal, briquettes, etc. It's the same family of stoves. Then came the kerosene stove. If anyone has used this very ugly kerosene stove, you realize that even a drop of kerosene, if it comes on your fingers, you will run to wash it. It's so, it's so unpleasant. It's an industrial uh, smelly liquid which is very thin and uh, it's so volatile that it's explosive actually and people have died and it's been also misused in, our, in these last many centuries to, uh, you must have read that uh, some people were killed from kerosene stoves and uh, then came the electric stove. Then the fifth one which is there in every household is the LPG stove which uh, I am sure every household has it. Then came the solar which is so nice. I find that solar and my stove are quite at par. The Seventh one was the microwave which is one of the worst cooking ways in your kitchen. It's causing cancer and uh, many people are now beginning to chuck away their newly bought microwaves and induction. These are the dead ways to cook. Uh, in Indian Vedas uh, we say there should be Agni. Agni means the fire god. If it's not there and you're killing with this dead process, you're cooking with this dead process of uh, 
microwave and induction and just nuking your food out, uh, you are going to cause cancer in your cells and uh, the, the life force in your food will be dead. You don't want that to happen. What's the objective of cooking? At the end of the day, you want to cook for uh, feeling good and uh, getting the proper nutrition into your cells. And uh, by God's grace, this is the ninth store in the world by count and uh, the most eco-friendly compared to all other stores. And uh, now I'll explain how we solved those and addressed those issues which uh, made it difficult for people to cook with oil. Uh, the viscosity of oil being so high, it's very difficult for it to reach up, unlike the kerosene stove. And uh, then I worked on designs, all types of designs, and finally I've come out with this concept uh, of nine wicks. Uh, of course, this works also with eight wicks, but uh, uh, numerically, this being the ninth stove in the world. Uh, nine is a divine figure as everybody knows. We have nine as the most magical figure in the, in the planet, in the universe rather. We have the nine planets working in rhythm, working all around uh, in harmony. And uh, nine figure is, is a magical figure. So I put nine wicks in this and uh, the TD, the traverse distance for the oil is minimized to hardly, hardly three-fourth of an inch. You have to fill this container fully and you realize that your oil has to traverse the TD is just three-fourth of an inch. That makes it possible for this highly viscous oil to reach the tip. And uh, oxygenation. Since this is so highly viscous, we need lots of oxygen for the process to happen to develop the calorific value. So, I put a lot of notches, a very wide notch which allows the oxygen to enter in and you get the desired oxygenation in each wick and I have subdivided each wick into many wicks. So, what is the reasoning behind this is that if I would put, I did put one single wick and the desired results were not coming, uh, we didn't get the calorific value and the heat, enthalpy, uh, the desired heat to cook our food with. And uh, after I have subdivided and given these oxygen slots and reduced the TD, uh, all the problems that I was addressing suddenly were solved and uh, we got perfect flame and perfect heat, enthalpy and calorific value. Uh, then the sudden realization came that whatever food was getting cooked on this was tasting far better than the other stores, especially the gas store. Now, uh, I realized that a gas stove is an industrial flame which we have brought into our kitchens several decades ago and uh, we have industrialized our kitchen and it's time that we go back to our roots and try to see where we are going wrong and uh, one of the best ways to cook is this, uh, if you try a vegetable on this you will immediately realize that the taste, the nutritional value, the aroma is far superior from this stove. And uh, you get the right amount of heat. Once it's lit up, you don't have to adjust. Now I'll show you how it's to be used. Uh, on the Once you get these wicks from me, you have to remove them, fill it in this container, fill it with oil and let them soak for a good amount of time, many hours. Uh, when, when you put the wicks back inside after they are soaked in oil, it's very important to note this point that after it's put in, 
you have to turn this notch away that's a very important point uh, so this gets locked you won't have any uh, flame going downwards into the oil so please follow this after you have for the first time set up your burner i repeat when you have soaked your your wicks and up putting the soaked wicks inside put it through the notch put it through the notch and just turn the notch away from the open position that's a very important point when they are soaked they go in very easy they go in effortlessly even now they are see and i'm going to turn it this is a very important point so i have technically designed this that no flame can traverse downwards into the oil a very important point to note many hours and when you're going to use it repeatedly this is already used by me several years now i'm going to show you how to use this say for example i cooked yesterday and i want to repeat my cooking today so i'll remove a bit of carbon i will lift the wicks up this process i'll just carry on so uh, one of the ways to lift the wicks uh, is uh, either with your fingers or you can use a tweezer which uh, can easily lift the wicks up it's uh, a tweezer is there in, in every household it lifts the wicks effortlessly very easy and uh, as you can see i'm just getting hold of the wicks in my tweezer and lifting them up lift them all up in this way very practical and uh, keep a few threads loose so it's easier to light it up and you can also dip a little oil on the wicks before you start lighting them with the match sticks and uh, as i'm lighting it up uh, one of the points to be noted in this is that this stove is using a fuel which uh, is eco friendly and it will reduce the carbon footprint of every human who is using it today it's the need of the hour that every human looks at his carbon footprint and how he affects the planet and this will result in a zero carbon footprint after all the wicks are lit and uh, adjusted now i'm just showing you an example of how it was lifted uh, i'm going to show you the adjustments see the carbon is coming here and as soon as i set it it will have a nil black suit carbon though so many wicks are burning there will be nil carbon we have it's a very clean way because i provided 12 sub wicks which is a lot of oxygenation and uh, at the right adjustment you get the right temperature the right flame and uh, there's no soot and the carbon footprint is nil because uh, this oil is eco friendly it's uh, from seeds which were pressed to extract the oil and we don't have any uh, uh, degradation of the environment in terms of uh, drilling for fuel or cutting trees or digging for coal or burning process it's a it's a very clean uh, fuel it's non volatile it's good for the skin it's good for the food you get 
the perfect nutrients of any vegetable that you cook on this and uh, it's a pleasant way to cook the ninth cooking stove in the world is the most greenest stove apart from the solar one but the solar one is not uh, uh, portable this is portable and uh, you can carry it anywhere you just have to put the lid and uh, you see in my hands I'm going to take it with me I can go anywhere with my stove and uh, portable and it's not uh, dependent on seasons uh, uh, if it's rainy season or the middle of the night and you ha don't have solar electricity uh, which is dependent on sun's rays this is not dependent on anything it's portable and that flexibility gives it a better uh, practicality one of the ways to uh, extinguish it is either you blow it off or you can take a big vessel container and just keep it on top and uh, it gets extinguished uh, due to lack of oxygen so I'm going to take any one utensil and just put it over it and that's it it's uh, the you don't even need to blow so uh, this is the Vedic stove the ninth cooking stove in the world by God's grace the best stove in the world thank you